begin the session with the common terminologies used for sterilization. So, there are four important uh, terminologies sterilization, disinfection, antisepsis and cleaning. All these are look alike uh, uh, terminologies. All these are look alike terminologies. They are interrelated terminologies. However, uh, there are distinct differences which you need to understand. Okay? Though they are look alike, you, you may think that they are almost the same, but there are some distinct uh, differences which you need to understand. So, uh, let us uh, discuss the definitions of various terminologies in detail. First is uh, sterilization. Sterilization is a process by which all microorganisms and their spores and the bacterial spores everything will be either destroyed or they are been removed from an article surface or medium. It is a process by which all living microorganisms including their spores are either destroyed or removed from the article surface or the medium. You will have a log reduction of 10 to the power 6 colony forming unit of microorganism and their spore will be reduced by the process of sterilization. Okay? Sterilization can be achieved either by a physical method, various uh, physical methods are there. The classical example is autoclave. Sterilization can also be achieved by various chemical method, uh, for example, ethylene oxide. Ethylene oxide is a, a chemical sterilant which can achieve sterilization. Okay, the next terminology is disinfection. Disinfection is defined as a process by which most of the, if not all, then at least most of the microorganisms are destroyed or removed plus or minus a removal of spores. Okay? So, it can destroy most of the microbes but not all and it may or may not be able to uh, destroy the spores. So, disinfection is a terminology which is used to apply for lesser ability to kill the organisms whereas uh, sterilization is a definition for absolute ability to kill all microorganisms including the spores. So, in sterilization you will have a log reduction of 10 to the power 6 microorganism uh, whereas in disinfection you will have a log reduction of 10 to the power 3 uh, microorganisms will be reduced by the process of disinfection and spores will not be uh, able to be reduced. Disinfection can also be achieved either by a physical agent or by a chemical agent. Okay? And Please remember that disinfection is usually a terminology that we use for inanimate object. Okay? Disinfection usually we apply for inanimate object, not for the body surface. So, the disinfection of a body surface, we have given a different terminology which is called as asepsis. Asepsis is the terminology we use for disinfection of the body surface and the products which are achieving asepsis these are called as antiseptics. Antiseptics are those disinfectant which can be applied over the skin and the mucosal surface. The, uh, the classical example is the povidone iodine. Uh, povidone iodine or uh, the commercial name is betadine which we usually apply over the wounds and this is called as an example of antiseptic and the process is called as asepsis. Okay? Asepsis is a type of disinfection which is strictly confined to applying the product over the body surfaces. Okay? Whereas disinfection in general, we generally restrict the word or disinfection for inanimate object and the product which is used for disinfection is called as disinfectant. This disinfectant also we are uh, restricting to the inanimate object not on the uh, body surface. Those disinfectant which can be used for body surface they are called by a different terminology that is antiseptic. The next what we will discuss is the various classes of disinfectant. Disinfectant uh, based upon the ability to kill the microorganism can be classified into 
high level intermediate level and low level disinfectant high level disinfectant means they can kill all microorganism like sterilization uh, method high level uh, disinfectant also can kill all microorganism spore they may or may not be able to kill if you give the uh, disinfectant in a sufficient concentration they can kill the spore the classical example is glutaraldehyde uh, uh, glutaraldehyde is a classical example which which cannot kill the spore otherwise but if you improve the uh, concentration and the duration of contact then they will be able to kill the spore but other than spore they will kill all other uh, microorganisms spore alone will be plus minus whereas intermediate level uh, disinfectant can kill all microorganism but will not be able to kill spore spore if it is plus minus it is called as high level spore cannot be killed but all other microorganisms are killed is called as intermediate level uh, disinfectant okay whereas low level disinfectant are classically ap applicable to those product which can destroy only the vegetative bacteria and enveloped viruses but they have variable action on non enveloped viruses as well as fungi and no action at all on tubercle bacilli that is mycobacterium tuberculosis and spores they they cannot kill mycobacterium tuberculosis as well as spores they have a variable action on non enveloped viruses and fungi and they will definitely will be able to kill a vegetative bacteria and enveloped viruses so these are the various terminologies which are used for disinfectant